What is up, family? It's your boy, D, coming right back at you with another one. Right now, we're back in the studio, and a demo is on the menu. All right, family. So we right back at it. What we finna do right here is a, is a, is an uh, an, an excursion test of the uh, the Dayton Audio subwoofer that I got here. This is an eight inch subwoofer, and this is uh, if you guys are looking to buy it for all the guys who didn't see the previous videos where I gave the model number. The model number for all the new guys is going to be RSS two one zero HF. And this is going to be the full on version of this. This is a reference subwoofer by Dayton Audio. Pretty beefy little little subwoofer, double stack magnet right here. It does have an X max of nine millimeters, coupled with a frequency response of 28 hertz, all the way up to a thousand hertz is what is recommended at. But right now, what we're going to be doing is what we always do around this time is we're going to give it a bass sweep. As you guys can see, we're going to give it a bass sweep from 20 hertz or from 100 hertz to 20 hertz. That's pretty much how we do it here in the studio. Uh, but enough talk about all that. We're going to get to some of the equipment over here. What we have right here is the SPA 250. This here also from Dayton Audio. And right now we got the, the gain set all the way to its minimum. We don't want to damage this little, this little woofer. Even though this woofer is rated at all well over 250 watts, which is what this thing is rated at. It's, and, and this is RMS rating at uh, 250 watts, well over 250 watts. We we can't do that free air, okay? We can't we cannot do that free air because you're gonna you're gonna damage something here. So you don't want to do that. So right now what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna get this thing going, and we're gonna set the gain about halfway, and we're gonna test it and see how it likes it right there. I think that's a good safe setting for free air. That may be too much. But I think that's a good safe setting for free air, so let's move along. And hit the start button and start counting down. I may have to adjust that gain depending. I don't want it to bottom out. I'm just going to keep my hand on the trigger. Yeah, that was way too much excursion for 36. Right, 25, 23, 22, 21, 20, and 19. Where well, it's down to 19 hertz right now. And to be honest with you guys, I think I was feeding it too much to be uh, free air because this thing, I did smell it, which is never a great idea. I did smell it. I should have, I guess I should have gave it some, um, some, some, uh, some test runs before actually running the video. But you guys are getting it in the raw right now. So, um, I guess that kind of lets you know not to have it wide open. Even though I smelled it, it's not warm to the touch at all. Even though I smelled it, you know. But smelling it is always a bad thing. You never want to smell your subwoofer. Ever. There's just too much going to it. It's, it was doing too much. And right now I got the gain set here. I don't have an, uh, an oscilloscope, so I can't tell you exactly how much current is running through it right now how much power is running through it right now we'll get those tools later on but for today just for today i wanted to do a um just like a, a an excursion test of this and right now that's at 19 hertz and if you guys are wondering what it can do at 19 hertz let's just get it flexing a little bit more here now that we have it control more control of it and that's what you're working with on excursion. This is what a gain setting is. Like I said, how many watts that's throwing right now? I don't know. But this little thing is moving, moving quite a bit right now. I'm impressed. I must say that I am impressed. Wow. To be honest with you, I'm I'm gonna say this. And I, I, I must be honest, I don't smell it anymore. 
I guess I guess the high frequencies is what was giving it issues, which can be the case sometimes. Um, yeah, I, I gotta say that I'm 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 definitely impressed with this. I like I like what I'm looking at right now. Not a lot of mechanical noises. It's taking it quite well. It's not smelling at all. It's not even warm to the touch. It's actually cold to the touch. That may have a lot to do with the uh, proper venting underneath the bottom. And as you guys can see, this is 19 hertz. This is below 20 hertz right now. This thing is dancing all day. That is uh, quite impressive. Let's turn it down. Let's kill the gains on it. Yeah, that's that's quite impressive. And if you like, I said for the new guys who didn't see the official unboxing, the original unboxing. If you're wondering what the venting looked like here, there it is, right there. That's what it looks like for venting. Plenty of venting, not even warm to the touch at all. And I did make sure that I was using something that 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 was properly ventilated, so it's not suffocating underneath there. Okay. That's what I'm using for padding so this thing won't jump all around and vibrate the whole damn room. Uh, that's what you're dealing with right there at 19 hertz. But hey, that's fun, right? But what exactly does this thing sound like in a box? In an enclosure in 19 hertz, right? What does that sound like? Well, common sense would tell one that you would have to build a box so that it would respond, have a, a, a port tuning around 19 hertz and at a, um, um, a port tuning that would actually respond to 19 hertz which what which I don't have but if I did have one or if I were to build one then you guys can see I would have plenty of power and excursion and response on an overall response from this little driver I am highly impressed with that Yep, but that's it for right now. I just wanted to make it kind of short and sweet for you guys. If you guys would like to see this in an enclosure to see what it would do, uh, leave us some comments in the section below. Uh, leave some uh, thumbs ups. Let me know if this is what you guys want to see out of this little uh, reference uh, subwoofer. And I'll be posting it for you guys later on. But until next time, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's your boy D, and I'm out.